Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Electro for you. Today we will study about electronic configuration and this is our fourth topic from this chapter, periodic properties. So, electronic configuration is the arrangement of electron in the orbitals of an atom. Okay, for example here we can see the electronic configuration for hydrogen is 1s1. So, the 1 in the coefficient represent the principal quantum number that is the value of n and s represent the type of orbital that is the subshell or the value of azimuthal quantum number that is l and here the one at the power in the power one represent the electron present in that subshell so uh, these are the three things which are required to determine the electronic configuration of an atom so those are principal quantum number type of orbital or the subshell and then the electron present in that subshell number of electron present in that subshell here it is one now the azimuthal quantum number values are already uh, uh, determined that is for s it is zero for p it is one for d it is two and for f it is Three. So, these are the L values for these subshells. Now, the arrangement of this electron in the orbitals are done according to Off-Post rule. And Off-Post rule says that electron enters the higher subshell only after electrons are filled in the lower subshell. Here, higher subshell and lower subshell means the uh, subshell having higher energy and lower energy. So, according to this Off-Post rule, Electron will enter first in the lower, uh, lower level of energy, I mean in the subshell having lower level of energy and then after that it will enter the higher energy subshell. So energy is decided according to n plus rule, n plus l rule. So n plus l value is always directly proportional to the energy that is the energy of the orbital. Okay. Here this table represents the orbitals and the n plus l value for each and every orbital. Okay, so for 1s it is uh, n plus l value is 1 because here the n value is 1 and the l value for s is 0. So 1 plus 0 1 like that n plus l value is determined for each and every orbitals here. So now we will see the n plus l values compare the n plus l values and according to that we will find uh, the arrangement of electrons in the orbitals. How we will do the arrangement of electron in the orbitals, okay? So, first here, the n plus l value for 1s is the least. So, first we will fill the 1s orbital because as we know that we know that n plus l is directly proportional to the energy of that orbital. So, lesser the value of n plus l, lesser will be the energy of that orbital. So, first we will fill 1s, then 2s, 2s, then 2p. Now, here we will see that we can see that 2p and 3s have similar values, n plus l values that is 3. Now, here we will give uh, priority according to the n value that is the principal quantum number. So here the principal quantum number value for 2p is less because here the principal quantum number is 2 and for 3s it is 3. So the principal quantum number for 2p is lesser that means it will have less energy. So we will fill first 2p and then 3s. Now here 3p and 4s are having similar values that is 4. Now again we will see the n value, the principal quantum number value is less for 3p as compared to 4s. So 3p will be filled first and then 4s. Now for 3d and 4p the value is again same that is 5. But the n value for 3d is lesser as compared to 4p. So 3D will be filled first. 3D and then 4P. Like that, the arrangements 
are decided according to n plus l rule. So this is the molecular diagram which follows Aufwell's rule and according to this diagram we can find the arrangement of electron in the orbital. <clears throat> so here the arrow denotes the direction of the electron to be filled in that orbital. So here first we will write uh, the uh, orbitals like 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s like that then 2p, 3p like that in rows and columns accordingly then we will make a diagonal a parallel diagonals on this orbital okay so here the arrow represents the direction of filling the electron in that orbital so according to this arrow first we will fill the 1s then we will go in 2s then in 2p then 3s then 3p then 4s like that this diagram is formed uh, following the of boss rule